Amani channel. This is webvideochefs.com and in this recipe, I'm going to go over an advanced Google Drive for video tutorial or recipe because, you know, I, I talked about, you know, some alternative ways to share private videos in a previous uh, video and got some additional questions from uh, folks on YouTube who wanted to know, like, how do you share specifically, how do you share a video or a file with someone else in using Google Drive? So I wanted to get a little bit deeper into Google Drive. So I'm going to answer that question and also give you an overall uh, tutorial on how you can structure Google Drive or use it with video. All right, so this is my uh, homepage of my Google Drive account. So if you notice, with Google Drive is just like any other kind of you know, web or, or computer file system. So there are the folders here and you can expand them or collapse them as needed. And these are just the folders that I've set up using Google Drive. Um, once again, to create a folder is really easy. You just go to create, then create a folder, document, presentation, etc. So usually what I'll do is I have a Visual iMedia folder, which is uh, my video production company. And so we'll just go into here and then I have a bunch of different folders for the different client projects that I'm working on or just different, you know, files that I need to store here. All right. So um, these are a couple of, of client projects here that I'm working on. So I'm going to go into this one, which is Sonia Booker, and I'm just getting started on this. So the first folder that I set up was just one for the script. All right. So there's the script there. Um, you can expand it and there it is there. So um, you know, this is the final script that the client approved. So she actually sent me the script and then I just uploaded it to Google Drive because me and the editor are going to be using this um, folder or this uh, this uh, account to uh, to manage all the assets and to share all the files. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload or share the photos that um, we are gathering now from the client. So I'm going to create another folder here. I'm going to call this one photos. All right, and then once the folder is created, you just double tap into it, and then to add photos, you can either just drop files there, or you can use the upload button here and just you know do the traditional kind of way of finding the files and then uploading them. All right, so I will go into Finder now, and we will add some photos to this folder. All right, so here are the photos, and this has a, some photos, logos, a few different assets. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all the JPEGs. If I can select all the JPEGs here, all right, we're just going to drop and drag and drop these in here. And then you'll see there will be a status, and they will be just added in real time. So you can see the photos are kind of populating here. And. They're uploading and it just takes a few minutes to uh, get all the photos uploaded. All right, uh, one more thing. So you can always just go back and just use, just click on my drive to, to go back in different folders. Um, you can navigate it a few different ways. All right, so once you're in a folder, you can just click on here because this will give you the um, file extensions here or the folder extensions here. I'm just going to add one more one more folder here for for this example. All right, I'm going to create another folder. I'm just going to call this one logo for the logos. And there's an AEPS of her logo here, which I'm going to just drop in there. All right, and there it is. All right, now let's say, um, you know, you of course are going to want to share this folder either with your client or with uh, your, your editor or whoever else you're working with. So I'm going to create one more folder here and just call this one video drafts once we start to get to that process of the production and this is where we're going to um, store the the versions of the video and so there's a there's numerous ways of doing this um, I have an editor who just has a wonderful media management system for his projects 
And um, that's the way I, I mean, that's the way I'm organizing this one. But you know, there's really no rules to, to media management or to organizing your files in your Google Drive. But what you want to do, of course, is you want to share your photos or your folder. So you just click on make sure you're in the folder that you want to share if you want to share the, uh, the entire folder or if you just want to share something specific. And then just click on this plus right here. All right, and then you can change the access. This is what I always do is uh, change the access to anyone with the link. And so you do have to be cautious about who ends up getting the link, but this will enable your clients to share the link with other people. They may want to review the files if they're just showing the video, um, etc. So I'm just going to invite my editor to this folder. And I'm going to say created a new Google drive folder for this project voiceover is coming all right and then I will just send it to him and basically you can share this a few different ways so you can just email this link so you can copy and paste this link to anyone who you want to have access to the folder or you can add them uh, this way just to change this to anyone who has the link in view and then you can just add folks as you'd like all right and so it's really that easy to share and you can do this with videos with any sort of assets with any sort of files that you have added to your Google Drive all right so hopefully this answers uh, your question or if you're looking to use Google Drive more to uh, manage your projects um, you know the other good thing is that people can comment so Let's say, let's go into the script here. And I believe there's a way that you can, let's open this up. And I believe that people can actually go in and, and comment uh, collaboratively on your project as well. So you just click on the comments here and then people can comment. You know, if, if you have a bunch of people who are viewing it or that have seen um, a video or a script or whatever it is, they can add comments so you can get some feedback, make adjustments, etc. Once again, to share it, just click on the share, anyone with this link. Another question folks have had is how to download the files, which is something that clients sometimes str struggle with. So basically, if you click on the download icon here, which is the downward arrow, you can download a, a video, a file, whatever's in, whatever you're looking at within that folder or whatever you're looking at in Google Drive. All right, so it is that easy. Hopefully this was really helpful. Again, Amani channel, webvideochefs.com. Leave a comment if this was helpful. Also go to webvideochefs.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll get a great free training course on how to use create mobile videos to tell stories. And we have some courses on our site as well. All right, so thanks a lot and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.